Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Shortcuts. So in this series, I've shown you guys a variety of effects from how to create quick and awesome transitions, retro looks, YouTube end screens. We've covered a lot, and all of these tutorials have been designed to help you streamline your editing workflow and help you create better videos faster. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to simulate a poor digital TV streaming connection using Red Giant Universe Glitch. Here's Dr. Gal to tell you a little bit about the purpose of Glitch. The glitch effect is used to simulate a pole connection. So if you need to create the visual effect of a pole broadcast connection or pole internet connection, Red Giant Universe Glitch is the effect that you should be using to get it done fast. Thanks, Dr. Gal. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro and show you how to use this effect. So here in my timeline, I have two video clips from Pond5. The digital TV screen clip actually had a green screen before, but I removed that using the red giant primat here. And then I put the football game clip below that clip to replace the green screen. So in this scene, just as we're about to see the final play happen, we want a glitch to occur. So we never actually see the final play. And this is a tool that's often used in videos where somebody wanted to see something and then a glitch happens. So what we want to do is search for Red Giant Universe Stylize from the effects panel. And we're going to drag the uni.glitch effect onto the football clip, which is on video layer one. And when we play it back, you can see it added some glitch compression and the look of a poor connection already using the default settings of the effect. And if you want the TV to have a constant poor connection, then this default effect could work great. But in my case, I want the connection to be good at first and then for it to go bad and be completely unwatchable. So this will involve some kind of keyframe basic animation. Since this series is called Shortcuts, we want to make this trick fast. So let's start by choosing a preset. You can see there are about 20 different presets for video here. And there are also some presets for text as well if you want to apply this to text only. But since we are working with video, I'll choose one of the video presets and I'll choose the squares and lines preset. So now when we play it back, we have this new square and line compression look. But now we want to set the glitch frequency to zero. As we don't want to see any glitches at first, then let's set the stopwatch to create a keyframe at the moment we want the glitches to start in our timeline. Then we can move the playhead ahead to a point where we want it to be at 100% glitch. So now over the course of those two keyframes, it goes from zero to 100 and you see more glitches. Another element we can increase is compression over that time. So hit the stopwatch to set the compression at zero and then move the playhead to the point where you want it to be at max compression, increase it up to 100 here, and it makes it look very pixelated and compressed over that time period. And we can, of course, keyframe and animate a gradual increase to any of these other parameters here. For example, under small glitch settings, we can set a keyframe to increase the size of the small glitches to go from small to big over time. And then under wide glitches, we can do the same. We can activate keyframes next to the height and then increase that height to 100 over that period between the two keyframes. So then when we play this back, you can see it goes from good quality to really poor quality very quickly during the football game as that play is happening. And you can use this approach for many different genres to drive your narrative due to connectivity issues or to illustrate that there's a problem. So you can animate any of these parameters and I encourage you all to play around with them. We'll also put a link in the description box which will go into detail on what each parameter can achieve if you're interested. So that's all there is to it. If you have any other questions about Glitch, be sure to leave a comment below or you can reach out to Red Giant on social media if you have any questions. So that's all there is to this series right now. If you want more shortcut episodes, let us know what you want to learn and also be sure to give this series and, and all the other videos as a part of it a thumbs up. And yeah, let me know what you guys want to learn next. Thanks again for watching and see you guys soon. Bye.